So I've always been someone who wanted to collect physical media growing up as a 90s kid. I guess it's something that just kind of sticks with us. Uh, it started off with music and you know, slowly moved away with that with Spotify and things like Apple Music. But with video games, I've always just been such a hardcore need physical. Do not get rid of that disc tray. Never go all digital. I hate it. I hate it. I've always hated the idea. But recently, I walked into Walmart and I found this Mass Effect Legendary Edition for only $5. I'm like, man, $5? What a deal. I was like, why is this game so cheap? And I started thinking, man, I got Xbox Game Pass. Why would I pay any amount of money when I already have this? I'm paying already money on this digitally. And it kind of just hit me that Xbox Game Pass is definitely changing my opinions and my feelings towards physical media in regards to video games now i'm not all out done with physical media when it comes to playstation and that's mostly because i don't have the playstation online network yet to stream video games or nintendo switch i'm always gonna be playing physical games when it comes to nintendo i don't know why I just like i feel like i just have to maybe because the games are so small and you can carry multiple anywhere uh, but with switch and i don't really like switches online even their retro games on switch they didn't port the the controls over onto the switch button console that that's a whole other dis discussion i guess but when it comes to digital media i found more and more that i just have stopped completely buying xbox games there if, if another halo comes out just because i'm a big halo fan and may buy that physically but for the most part i have not bought i can't remember the last xbox game that i bought that i wanted to buy anything that I've ever wanted like Dead Space here that was one game that I want to play it's one of my favorite games ever and it popped up on Xbox and any thought of wanting to buy that game the the new uh, remake just completely disappeared I have no reason to go and want to buy that now I can just play it here I don't even really have a desire to have it in my physical media which is it's a complete switch for me um, I'm just wondering has anybody else kind of felt this way I mean there are just so many games on Xbox Game Pass that you can just never be satisfied. I feel like I think I've never like gotten satisfied. They got old games, new games, games I haven't played in a while. It's just, I think there's, I don't know how many there are, but I'm going to scroll through this and it's going to take me a good five minutes going at a good speed just to scroll through all the games on here. I just never get tired. I do have a little bit of um, a tendency to be like never satisfied with what game I pick. Um, if it's just not immediately falling in love with it, I'm always kind of moving on to the next one. I think that might be a little bit of a negative to it, just like not ever having that satisfaction. But on the other hand, there is a bunch of games that I probably just would never have bought physically just because I, I feel like I never get around to it. And then I see it on Xbox Game Pass. I'm like, hey, I really want to play that game. Now I get to try it out and see if, if I would like it. And there's been a f quite a few games on here that I've tried out and I'm like, dang, good thing I didn't miss out because that was an amazing game. I just think this is a great resource. It's gonna cost about like $15 a month. Uh, for some reason on PC, it's cheaper. I don't know why, uh, but I feel like more and more these companies are starting to realize that this is kind of the route to go. PlayStation just announced their new PSP, which kind of has its issues. I I'm, I'm, wouldn't be surprised if xbox releases you know like a handheld portable type system that'd be cool they just they really have to narrow down that cost though because i can just hook up my xbox controller bluetooth to my phone and play it there so i don't really know if i want to spend 300 dollars on a psp portable when i can just hook up my phone to it or get an attachment to the controller and just have it there and play it like a nintendo switch and be fine with it um, i usually always get you know the bigger screen phones anyways i mean i guess i'll be losing out on a little bit of resolution and stuff like that but i think i'll be okay with that uh, i think one of the negatives going forward that i can see this going that kind of scares me with these cloud system is the way that streaming services for tv shows kind of moved so at first you had Netflix and you could get almost like anything you want. You could watch all the Marvel movies. Netflix was a thing to go. It's probably the, the only thing you could really choose from was Netflix. Maybe a few other things you can go to to actually, you know, go and stream your shows. But then it kind of moved over to Amazon and then it was HBO. 
and then it was Disney. And then all these companies started branching out more and more. And now it feels like you have to have like 30 different subscriptions to 30 different TV shows and networks just to watch what you want to watch. And like when Netflix lost The Office, that was a heartbreaker. <laughs> we, my wife and I just we hated that moment. And then Netflix lost the Marvel movies, and it just it seemed like it just continued to just lose stuff. And then the value of Netflix for us personally kind of it just kind of dropped because then they started doing like their own Netflix specials, and some of them were hits, you know, some of them were not. And that's where my fear with xbox and these these cloud services games are going is that as they get more popular games like ea and capcom branching off saying nope it's no longer good enough that you're subscribed 14 dollars or 15 dollars a month to xbox game pass now you need to come and subscribe to us as well and then capcom doing the same thing and then now all of a sudden i'm doing like what i'm doing right now where i have 10 different streaming show services now i'm gonna have to have 10 different streaming video game services so that's kind of my fear when it comes to this overall it's it's been a weird thing that i've kind of switched over to that i was never expecting to actually ever like what are your thoughts thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you like this style of format of video if you think that uh, i don't know i actually have something nice to say or i don't have anything nice to say if you completely disagree I want to know that too. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe again. Be safe. Peace.